Thank you, Senator Daines. Uh, Senator Cortez Masto from Nevada is joining us remotely. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Chair Gensler, thank you for joining us. Uh, let me jump back. This seems to be the topic of conversation with my colleagues, the cryptocurrency. One thing I just want to verify, is the, is the SEC sufficiently equipped, whether by regulation or funding, to appropriately ensure compliance and keep pace in the cryptocurrency market? Do you believe so? And if you don't, then what, what would we be doing in the committee? What do we need to know to help you with? I think you've raised both points. I think funding-wise, we could use a lot more people. I, I, I just have mm -hmm. to be frank with you. I mean, there's 6,000 projects. And while um, uh, some of those are commodities, many of them are securities under the laws, and many of the platforms are. So we could use some more funding. Uh, in terms of uh, legislation, I think the, the, what I've said earlier in this hearing is the coordination between the market regulators is strong, and Chair Benham and I have been talking through how to do this, but there may be things that Congress can weigh in and help on the coordination, and also around stable coins, the coordination with the banking regulators. And then there are some things, frankly, a bit in the weeds about transfer agents and custody and the like. Thank you. And so let me just say, I look forward to, to working with you on that. Whatever we can do here in the committee to support um, uh, how we address and, and look at the, the um, uh, cryptocurrencies, please uh, uh, you know that you've got support from me. Uh, let me talk a little bit about gamification. When you were here in March um, for your confirmation hearing, I, I raised concerns uh, about behavioral prompts uh, and gamification. And I said that free apps that encourage trading could be detrimental to some retail investors. So I, I know that you were looking at this. Uh, uh, ranking um, Senator Toomey mentioned that you uh, had talked about doing a report sometime this summer and putting a report on, out, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. Uh, can you talk a little bit about where you are and, and, and your concerns with gamification and how it impacts investors? So uh, th three things. One on the, the GameStop report, uh, we are pretty close. It's in front of my fellow commissioners, and I would assume it will be out shortly. On uh, the, uh, uh, quote, gamification, we've asked the public through a request for comment to give us feedback. I think the issues there is uh, we are living through a transformational time in America, and we're seeing this in, in, in every bit of our society and so forth. But if Netflix figures out that I'm a rom-com guy, and yes, I am a rom-com type of guy, um, I might see a bad rom-com for an hour and a half. But this is about people's investing future. So what I've asked, I think the core question is, is if the data analytics are maximizing the platform's revenues, optimizing for revenues, optimizing for data collection, that may be in conflict with maximizing for the user's investment returns, and how do we square that? And lastly, if I could, and I apologize respectfully, say it's not actually free on these apps. It might be zero commission, but you're still paying. Uh, the payment for order flow is underneath the hood, uh, and, and, and it's still there. And my real concern is, is about whether the competition is there, whether it's sufficient order by order competition. Thank you. I appreciate that um, clarification. And then let me just add one final thing. And I know Senator Tester talked about this, but climate risk. Uh, we've seen from the West and particularly Nevada and California, some of the worst wildfires um, we have ever seen uh, and uh, because of the extreme weather uh, impacting the air quality as well that we breathe. And so I, I know there was this discussion earlier about why should the SEC be concerned about the climate crisis and climate risk. But would you talk a little bit about this? I understand um, you have said that investors should be able to understand what is under the hood of green or sustainable funds. What do you mean by that? So we have, uh, I thank you for asking that. We have a, a, a separate rule docket where I've asked for recommendations from staff. There are funds, asset managers, that are marking themselves as green or sustainable or carbon-free. And just as we walk into a grocery store and it might say fat-free, it's like, what's behind that marketing? And I think that actually probably will unite senators in this committee. I mean, what's behind the marketing and, and the name? And so 
uh, staff will make recommendations, but I hope that we would say something about that there has to be some metrics standing behind if you're marketing yourself, so to speak, as carbon free or green. Thank you. And I would assume there's a reason why they're marketing their, their, themselves that way, because that's what investors are, some investors are looking for. Is that correct? I think that's right. I think that investors mm -hmm. increasingly are interested. Uh, investors get to decide in, in our in our the basic bargain of our capital markets. Investors get to decide, but investors also get to decide how they make their decisions. Um, and uh, all the SEC is trying to do is response to investors. Say, here's how we can maybe help bring consistency, comparability, and some decision useful information. Thank you, Chairman Gensler. Thank you again for joining us. Thank, Thank you, you, Senator Cortez.